Jason with Bashing RC 24-7. Got the blackout out. Um, just got a new battery for it today. You know, which is really strange coincidence because my other one just kicked the bucket today. Um, this one's a 3500 milliamp hour 60C. And um, I've tested it a little bit. This thing seems pretty good. You know, we'll see over time if it's going to last because my other one it didn't. But it wasn't the same brand. So it was unbranded. This thing, it seems like it's really easy to ride wheelies. Because it, I just barely pull the trigger and it pulls up. So, um, all right, I'm gonna run it back here and burn it down the road one time. With this, with, you know, I'll tell you what, I'm the be, the best upgrade that I've done for this thing, aside from you know the extra power, is the servo, the JX servo, the standard servo, the six kilogram, just you know, with the servo saver, the servo saver. Uh, mine didn't break or anything, but it just it didn't turn. It, it would it would stop the wheels from turning hard when you would turn it, and I don't know how hard they, they would turn anyway because it was only a six kilogram servo. But um, so anyway, you have the JX servo. I can't remember the number on it. It's a H. Uh, I think it's like a uh, it's a digital high output or something like that. I don't know, but it's only thirteen bucks. So. All right. I drove it around for about a minute and a half. I checked the motor; it was cool as can be. So I don't know if the higher discharge is actually making it run better. Oh, got into the throttle a little too much. <laughs> This thing is a wheelie monster now, man. It's crazy. And that it'll pop up at any speed. Well, that time it didn't, but... Got a car coming by, so we're gonna pull over. God, that thing sounds like crap, huh? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna run it up to the top and uh, try to max it out and see what she'll do. Having a little bit of uh, signal issue. Whoa! You know what, I'm going to go ahead and just keep running this thing until the battery runs out, see how much run time um, I get, see if the run time increases, because I usually run a uh, 3,000 milliamp hour, which gives me about about 20 minutes, probably 15 minutes if I'm um, really on it the whole time, usually I, I you know, I talk in between a um, couple passes, anyway, hold up a second. Alright, yeah, I just checked the motor. The motor's a little warm. Um, not bad at all. I mean, I don't have to take my hand off at all. I can hold my hand on as long as I want. 
which is the only gauge I uh, have and the only gauge I've ever used. Um, but then again, I don't really try to really push these motors too tough on the pinions for too long. You know, I got the 22 tooth pinion, which I probably uh, that will that will probably overheat the motor in, in quick fashion. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm waiting on. I ordered a 120 amp ESC for that, so uh, I may even run it on four cell. You know, once or twice, because these motors are rated at 14 volts. You know, four cell four is 14.8 volts, and that's the nominal voltage. It's really 16.8, so that's almost uh, what uh, almost three volts over you know the limit of 14. So I don't know. Walk of shame. Tell the voltage has gone down a little bit because it's not popping up as easily now. Um, guys, I want to tell you, um, I have an RC track um, just a mile from the house here. Um, I've known about it. And I've never really used it because it's always been so run down. Um, I might go go out there here soon and, and uh, check it out. See if uh, I can maybe make some videos there. Um, they have an oval, which you know I don't, I don't, I don't really race. I may look into that, but um, anyway, right now I don't. So they also have a, uh, I guess uh, like a short truck, uh, short course or whatever. Um, so yeah, I guess short cor uh, trophy truck, short course truck, course, whatever you call it. Um, I see guys running buggies on it. I've seen that one time. But uh, anyway, so yeah, might check that out soon. Oh, that's about the longest wheel I've ever rode with this thing. Yeah, um, earlier in, uh, at the end of the, this other video I made, which I haven't posted yet, I don't know if I'm going to or not, um, but if I do, you'll see it, um, at, at the very end of the video, I, uh, had, I wrecked it, you know, I kind of tumbled this truck, and one of the wheels cracked off, and, um, you know, so, I'm not really surprised it happened, I'm actually surprised they've lasted as long as they did, I bought two sets, Different uh, rim patterns, different styles, a little bit, but the wheels, are, or the tires rather, are the same. Um, so I've, you know, been intermixing them as they, uh, some of them break. I'll replace them with the, you know, the other set, one from the other set. So that's what I've done now. But they're only twenty bucks. You know, the the tire itself is really good. If uh, I might look for another rim to put these on, maybe some eighth scale rims, and. Um, move this up to some 17 millimeter hubs which I have put on my other blackout which uh, look for that video soon I got the 1 8 scale uh, street tires on it and um, that's the one I got the 22 tooth pinion with the 3660 brushless 4300 and uh, yeah so um, 
hopefully hopefully the uh, ESC will be here pretty soon and then we'll uh, see what that can do but all right guys it's getting a little dark so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and cut this short this is actually a 10 minute video it's not really short at all all right man all right guys later